Hi everyone, welcome back to Slate Secrets YouTube channel. We have a 16 inch afro kinky curly synthetic wig to talk about. This wig is from the Amazon vendor Don Millie Hair. Without further ado, let's open this box. Okay, we have some goodies in the box. The first goodie in this box is a black wig cap. The final goodie in this box is four wig band straps that you can sew onto the wig for more security. Those were all of the goodies. Now let's take a looky look at this wig. All right, let's get started. First topic is initial shedding. Let's do a little comb through. This wig has very light shedding, which I do expect from a synthetic wig. So that is definitely something to know. This wig is supposed to be 16 inches long, so let's go ahead and double check that. I have the measuring tape starting at the very first track for this wig, which is right here. The wig is hanging freely. The 16 inch mark is right here. So the hair ends approximately stop at the 16 inch mark. I did take out a section of hair to measure. And when you stretch out this section of hair, it does reach the 16 inch mark. So I can definitely give them a point for being true to length. The next topic is smell. This hair smells like synthetic hair, which isn't a bad smell to me. This wig smells like brand new hair, so kudos to that. As far as texture, this hair feels like synthetic hair. It feels okay, it's not too rough but you can definitely tell that it is synthetic. It's not dry, but again, I can definitely tell from the texture that this hair is synthetic. As far as volume, this hair has lots of volume. This hair is pretty big. You can actually tease it more to make it larger to have more volume. I definitely think that this is a great volume if you leave the curls as is. The vendor does say that the density is 130, so this is definitely a good amount of hair in my opinion. And as far as hair pattern, the hair vendor calls this kinky curly. In my opinion, this is a jerry curl that is loose. The curl pattern is pretty regardless of whatever name you want to call it. I love the curl, so no complaints. Tangles, of course there are tangles. This is a synthetic wig and the curls kind of want to stick together. I don't want to completely comb my fingers through the hair because the more you comb out the curls, the bigger the hair gets. But this hair definitely does have tangles, which I do expect because it is a synthetic curly wig. As far as the hair ends, the hair ends look good. The hair ends are not dry. They definitely cut the ends for this wig, so kudos to that. This is the front of the wig. As you can see, it's a part wig. There's already a designated part for this wig. So this is a full wig. This is not a lace frontal. This is a full wig with an L-shaped part. See the part is right here. So literally, there's the lace with the part located right here. And then there's tracks thereafter there's a track right here so literally right after the lace boom we have tracks right here let's get a close-up on the provided lace just to give you an idea of how the lace looks in the front of this wig so this is the left side they do give you lace with a little bit of hair coming out of it which is great so if you wanted to create just a little bit of baby hair you can because this is how the front of the wig looks. So they kind of give you a little hairline. So that's awesome. And this is the center. The parting space is right here. This is where the L part is. So the L part is to the right side of the wig. Not bad. The L part is pretty deep. So the L part stops right here. We can measure it. It curves, so. I'll give you an approximate number. So that's about four and a half inches. So this is where the hairline stops in the front of the wig. And this is where the L part begins. That is it for the L part and the front of the wig. Let's go ahead and talk about the wig structure. So here's the inside of the wig in the front. 
this is that L part with the lace and then everything else is tracks. You have a little bit of lace with hair coming directly out of it in the front on both sides. Just a little bit, not much. As you can see in the front of the wig, there are wig clips on both sides. And then we can flip to the back. There's a wig clip right here in the back of the wig. The wig also comes with two drawstrings in the back and many hooks to adjust the cap size right here, right beneath the wig clip. Other than that, the wig cap is netted, so it should be breathable, which is great. That's pretty much it for this wig. It's a full wig with an L part. For a more natural appearance, you can actually cut the lace in the L parting space and sew two wig clips to each side to turn this wig into a part wig. Then you can have a small part of your natural hair left out to help this wig appear more natural when you wear it. So that's pretty much it for this wig. It's a full wig. So let's go ahead and try this wig on. Okay guys, so I have the wig on and the wig is super cute, but it is so tight. It is squishing my head. I am getting a headache. Yes, it is that bad. But the wig is cute and it has so much potential, but it's not big enough for me. So maybe Don Millie can make a larger cap size for the big head individuals because this wig is not going to make it. It's not gonna make the day. It's not gonna make the minute, okay? I'm ready to snatch this wig off right now. But we're keeping this all for you guys for now. So I will hustle and fight through it, okay? Just for you. But anyways, um, this wig is super cute. I love the curl pattern. I love the structure. It's definitely made nicely and the L part is in a good spot for the wig, being that it is a full synthetic wig. I'm loving the curls, I'm loving the style. It's just, it's not big head friendly. And you know your girl needs extra room, you know? Not gonna front. If I were to wear this wig, I would definitely have to cut the L part and the maybe sew some clips on each side and have some leave out because you can also do that with this wig that will definitely give some space in the cap that's just too small for me but this wig is cute though so this is the front lace you can see my wig cap through the lace the lace color is a good color for me, definitely. If you wanted to, you can pull some hair out and make some baby hair. That will be real cute for this wig. And then this is the part with the other side. I will say if you're someone who does glue this down, it would fit in a good spot. So overall, I'm rating this wig an 8 out of 10, losing one point because it does shed and then losing another point because it is not big head friendly. But this wig has so much potential. This wig is super cute. I think it's the perfect length and I think it's the perfect volume size. Like, this wig is absolutely cute. That is all for this video. I hope that it was helpful. If you like this wig, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Also, be sure to subscribe to Slate Secrets YouTube channel so that you don't miss any more wig reviews. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye!